the view out this window right now. Look at this. there was some weather coming but uh, we left early enough in order to try and avoid it and uh, this was just one of those days where you know the weather forecast says one thing and what it's really like out there is completely different oh man are you kidding me so I'm talking in the laundry right now because there's just guests upstairs and all the crew upstairs I probably shouldn't be filming but I I've never in my life surfed a 34 meter super yacht down a wave. Um, the reason that's happening is because this boat is just no good in big sea when it's coming from behind. Uh, so it's just, we're just all over the place. It's like sort of a feeling of what you call a brooch, which is when you're surfing down a wave and then the boat starts to turn. And as it turns, you know, you could have, you could have big issues. But in this case, it's not gonna happen, hopefully. Um, but I, I do want to share with you, I want to show you what it looks like to surf a 34 meter super yacht. That wave is staying right where we are. Oh, oh, here we go. oh that's side on. The reason why I say that we were surfing is because this boat, the speed that we normally do on this boat is about 13.5 knots. Um, and that's like a pretty high speed for this boat, 14 is probably maximum. And when cruising in a swell like this, we were doing 19 knots down the face of the wave and the wave was staying pretty much in line with us. This boat's not meant to be doing 19 knots. That's a pretty safe way of saying that we were surfing the wave that was staying with us. I get all these people commenting on the videos like where I've maybe mentioned like bad weather. Yeah. I've had all these guys going, that's not bad weather. Mm. That's like one meter, two and meter. You, you always get that. No, right? no, but, but what you don't, what I don't think anybody realizes is it's not necessarily bad weather in terms of like a Navy warship. No. But it's what the boat can handle yeah. that makes it bad weather or not. Like in this case, this there's no way this boat could take more than this. No. The boat's all right. It's the shit that's in the boat. It's the stuff that's in the boat that breaks. All the glasses go flying and yeah. all these bloody bars on the fridge to stop the fridges and freezers opening up. But it's a completely different story. Right? This is uncomfortable for guests and for crew and for the boat. Well, yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> Chef's still cooking. You know, I think a very fair question in the comments down below would be, why the hell are you out here when the weather is like this? We have to get moving. We've got guests to drop off in a few days. And because this is blowing now, it's doing 33 knots. Because it's blowing 33 knots now, this is gonna build. It's only just started this morning. So the weather is due to get worse. And when wind blows over a longer period of time, the swell increases and this, this would have been impossible tomorrow. I mean, oh man, the view out the window right now. Look at this. There's no way for me to be able to really show you the size of what this looks like right now. I've got guests on board, the captain's concentrating super, super hard. I cannot, I cannot express it enough that this has been the only time on board this boat now that has got my adrenaline going in the like five or 5,000, 6,000 nautical miles that I've done on Help this boat. Please. Say again, Bex. Come to the wheelhouse. Coming. It's a couple days later since uh, this video, I'm busy editing it as we speak, but I had to interject and add in a part. Rebecca called me to the wheelhouse because the captain was basically said to her, get Jared, get Jared. Um, the reason that happened, this is the key for the boat. Uh, starboard engine over here, port engine over here. And there was a water bottle that was all the way on the other side. And because of the roll of that wave, the one that opened up all those doors that I just showed you, the water bottle happened to roll and <laughs> by chance switched off the key to the port engine. <laughs> the, the chances of that happening are like 
well they've obviously there's a chance because it happened but they are very very small the fact that the port engine shut down ended up being a good thing in some aspect we were past the worst of the storm already and around the corner so it already sort of relaxed uh, but it resulted in us being able to sort of fine tweak the throttles a bit and get it uh, sort of restart in a way instead of just like worrying about what was around us we brought the boat up to the right speed and um, the rest of the trip was far easier bearing in mind that we were sort of already past the worst of the storm okay but i'm gonna kick back into it and um let's carry on i'm sure i'll have all the all the seasoned sailors commenting on this uh saying what you should and shouldn't do you're welcome to comment anything that you've done in weather like this that helps the situation I will tell you from my experience, my experience alone, that in a circumstance like this, when you slow right down, uh, you might be out here for longer and put yourself in the swell for longer, but you don't end up surfing the wave. And it's when you surf a wave that the boat starts to really behave badly. In this case, we've slowed the boat right down now and the waves kind of hit you. And yes, the boat rolls a little bit like this, but you don't end up speeding down the waves and it causes that sort of that jerking motion or the cavitation in the props. I think it's gone from 30 knots to, to definitely a bit less now. It's down to eight knots. So you can see it now. Ooh, can you see it now? That's it, eight knots over there. Gone from 30 knots to eight knots. Um, now that we put ourselves closer to the coast, and we're hugging around the coastline. But you know what they say, no, no flat seas ever made a skilled sailor. So we'll see if that's true. So yeah, this, this film was just made up of little moments where I had a gap to be able to show you everything. You missed the engine turning off. At the moment, we're gonna tug away at this for another couple of hours. Smash that subscribe button, will you? Because that's really what makes it worthwhile for me so that I can keep making these videos. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, I didn't really enjoy making this video, but I knew you guys would be interested to see it, and that's why I've done it. Um, 